Hello everyone, this is Video Game Worm, and today I want to show you my Nintendo 3DS collection for the North American region. Now, I have a uh, North American um, PAL and a Japanese region um, Nintendo 3DS physical games, but for uh, this for this time, I just wanted to show you guys my uh, North American collection because this is basically the um, the games that I've uh, spent the most time with since uh, I migrated from Asia where we uh, used the NTSC uh, US version um, so yeah I basically earned a substantial number of uh, 3DS games obviously along the way so let's get on with it so first off, I wanted to talk about uh, Dragon Quest VIII, Journey of the Cursed King. So this one is uh, still sealed, actually, because I have the game digitally on my new Nintendo 3DS. And what I can say about this version is, uh, I think it's missing the 3D effect on, uh, on the game. And I would actually even consider this at least graphically an inferior version of the PlayStation 2 version because like um, on the first level on the first town you go to it's missing some things like uh, fire effects on the on the lamps one advantage this version has over the PlayStation 2 version I think is that there's an additional character that you can play and I haven't played this in a long while so uh, uh, this guy uh, right here basically is playable in this version I think up next I've got the uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow Mirror of Fate so this is pretty much a Metroidvania uh, it's probably wrong to call it that but it's a side-scrolling uh, adventure game and in this version, you play as, uh, well, several of the Belmont the characters, namely Simon and Trevor, I think. And I'm not gonna spoil the story so much. And I'm not sure this actually came in with uh, some inserts, but... Uh, so one thing about my uh, 3DS North American collection is that when I migrated to Europe, I actually threw away most of the covers, so I had to like repurchase uh, some of them. And I think this is one of those games, and it's a bit uh, it's a bit unfortunate that the cover for this game is wearing off a little bit. But hopefully, that won't bother me so much. And this game is actually available in several platforms now, I think. There's even a Steam version, which uh, maybe is my suggested way of playing this game. Because obviously, since this is on a 3DS, there's going to be some uh, uh, frame, ra frame rate issues and such. So up next, we got the Resident Evil Revelations, which is also one of my favorite uh, games on the Nintendo 3DS. There are HD ports of this game, but uh, I really strongly feel that this game belongs on the Nintendo 3DS and should be played on the Nintendo 3DS. Probably one of the few games I think, I strongly think, uh, belongs in the system. Really great game. Up next I have Project X Zone, or some of you might call it Project Cross Zone. So this is a crossover between um, Capcom, uh, Sega, and Namco characters, I believe. So here we have uh, Jin Kazama from Namco. We got Dare Ryu from Capcom. And well, there's Sakura here from, uh, from Sega. And this is how inside of the box looks like. And this is a strategy RPG, a really cool one actually. 
So up next I have uh, Shin Megami Tensei 4. So this is the first one, not the Apocalypse one. Um, I bought this pack in uh, New York. And I know I probably paid quite a bit much for this. So it says here it's $55 and it's pre-owned. But I kind of just like sucked it, you know, it's... Um, I think it's a good looking uh, RPG on the on the Nintendo 3DS and there's I think a sequel for this which is more much more expensive nowadays to get uh, physically and probably the only way to um, well, the only, pretty much the only way to get it uh, nowadays since a Nintendo 3DS eShop already closed and speaking of the Nintendo 3DS eShop I also actually have my uh, uh, digital game collection on both the North American and uh, PAL regions. So I would really like to know if you, if it's something you would like to, to see in one of my videos. Uh, let me know in the comments and I will make a video uh, of those 3DS uh, digital games at some point. Up next, I have a Spirit Camera, Spirit Camera, The Cursed Memoir, Memoir, or what, however you pronounce that. Um, so, this is one of those games that required a Nintendo 3DS uh, back cameras, uh, I believe, and it actually requires a uh, some sort of notebook, which unfortunately didn't came with my. Um, copy because I bought this second hand and I knew right from the start that the, you know the, the game that I was being sold um, didn't come with that but the good news is that you can actually get that uh, manual uh, digitally um, and you can choose to print it or you can just have to uh, have it on the iPad it comes as a downloadable PDF version so you put it on your iPad and then you can point your camera there and you can still play this game even without that. Up next I have Freaker Forms Deluxe, Your Creations Come Alive. This is uh, one hidden gem I would say that most people um, just try to skip but it's actually a very good game. You can get really creative here. You know, they create these uh, characters on different shapes. And you can uh, take them on an uh, adventure, a side-scrolling adventure. It's obviously a game for kids. But it's nothing that adults like us cannot uh, come to appreciate. And if you have kids, I highly, highly recommend you get this game. Up next, I have here... Um, Yokai Watch 2 Bony Spirits. I heard that there's a, a lot of these uh, games that. Uh, so I'm not really sure if this is something that came with this game or something that uh, was on my one of my 3DSs and I just decided to put here. But anyway, uh, there's this is a three part series from what I know, um, and probably those uh, each of those installments probably have like. Uh, some sub uh, games uh, spin-offs as well but I heard that the third one is the most expensive uh, and I have this and I also have the first one I'm not sure if I ac actually have the first one on my uh, North American list of games or on the PAL ones but uh, if it's on my PAL uh, list of games then you'll probably see it on that next video up next, I have Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Excellent, excellent game. I love this game. Uh, I actually finished this one, and I know that it had multiplayer, online multiplayer at some point, which I'm not sure if it still works. Probably it doesn't anymore, but it was a really good experience. So, unfortunately, I don't have the game here right now. It's probably in one of my 3DSs. Okay, I tried to look and I couldn't really find it in any of my 3DSs, but it's probably mixed up in some of my other game cases, which if I do find, I will uh, put it at the end of this video. 
Up next I have here The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D which is also an excellent game. Uh, it has a better frame rate than the original um, uh, Ocarina of Time on the Nintendo... Nintendo 64. I'm sorry, I never owned a Nintendo 64 so that didn't really came off my mouth naturally. So yeah, excellent uh, 3D effects, uh, smooth frame rate, excellent game, and also missing uh, its game cart, which fortunately I know is just in one of these uh, games here, and there is a Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D uh, right there. Let's put it back on its case because I haven't really been playing with this so much. Up next I have The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds and this one has some really good uh, foil, uh, gold foil over here going on. Uh, probably my most favorite uh, Zelda game on the Nintendo 3DS. It's like A Link, uh, a link to the Past so basically the game, the main mechanic of the game is that it lets you turn into a painting and you can move inside of the walls and there's also this uh, probably a bit of spoiler here but it, since it's uh, it's it's like a link to the past you can pretty much expect it to you know uh, have another world similar to that game so if you don't have this yet i highly highly suggest you do the prices for this should be still be pretty low and uh, it's a really good experience. Up next I have Hometown Story, the family of uh, Harvest Moon, make everyone happy. I'm not sure if that's part of the title actually. But the uh, Hometown Story, so I wanted to basically diversify my, uh, my genre for the genres I have for the Nintendo 3DS and even though this isn't, this isn't really my cup of tea this isn't, isn't really the type of games that I uh, usually play um, I wanted to diversify my collection so that's why I have this up next I have Centipede Infestation and I heard this is a more uh, much more inferior, inferior game than uh, then it's a Nintendo Wii counterpart but I saw this being sold locally and since I have a North American 3DS why not right I, as I said before just like a hometown story I wanted to diversify my collection and how should I describe this game it's like a twin stick shooter right uh, but not really uh, since a 3DS did come with twin sticks I actually use the directional buttons I think to um, to shoot in which direction you want to shoot um, you want to shoot your uh, enemies um, so this one I know is in one of my uh, 3DS's let me get the game card for you so getting it from my uh, new Nintendo 3DS Pikachu edition and here I have the game, Centipede Infestation. Let's put it back on the case and add it to the stack of 3DS North American games right on that corner. So up next I have Radiant Historia. As I heard, it's one of the best uh, RPGs, JRPGs on the Nintendo 3DS. So, this actually came with a limited edition box that I'll show you in one moment. So this is the uh, limited edition box or the launch edition uh, of the game. So the full title is Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. 
So this game actually is also um, on the Nintendo DS, but um, I think this has more content in it. Obviously, the graphics would be a bit sharper, probably. I'm not sure if the game actually supported the 3D effect. And of course, since this is a sort of a limited edition box, it comes with the art book, decal sheet, and yeah, probably other uh, goodies. And I will try to open this for you guys. So there's some uh, stickers in here, and then there's the art book as well. I actually thought that this came with the soundtrack, but apparently it did not. So let's put it back. So it's actually very tricky to put the game back every time so that's why I just uh, you know uh, put this along with a stack of other games and this uh, separately so that uh, I don't uh, wear the box wouldn't get any um, wear and tear so up next I have here key decker's uprising so also a very good game but I didn't really get to uh, to finish it I'm, I think I'm not really that fond of using the touch screen in order to like navigate and uh, shoot the enemies on the screen. And back then I actually owned the, the box for this, you know, the limited edition box that came along with the stand where you put a 3DS and then so you can probably properly play the, the game. but. Yeah, I threw that away. Um, silly me. And I rebought just the case, and the case came along with the with these cards and the manual and the game. No, the game I had uh, I had all along, and I thought that was enough. It's probably gonna cost me a fortune to to get the original box, limited edition box. Um, off of eBay so no I can just just I can just let go of that thing and be happy with this up next I have gravity falls legend of the gnome gamulet and gravity falls is one of my favorite shows on uh, it's on Disney plus I think right now and yeah it has an amazing soundtrack and this game is actually like a 2D side-scrolling game. I'm not sure, there seems to be some dialogue, so there's probably some uh, RPG elements on it as well. But yeah, uh, really happy to have this in my collection. If you're, um, if you're into 2D side-scrolling games or you're a fan of Gravity Falls, I would uh, highly recommend you get this now. Up next, I have Dragon Quest VII Fragments of the Forgotten Past. I haven't really got into playing this game, actually. When I bought this game, I just tested that it works, but I really want to get on it at some point. Up next, I have Return of R Return to Popola Croix, A Story of Seasons, Favorite Tale. So seems like it has some uh, 3d effect based on what it says right here and so story of seasons as far as i know that's just like um, pretty much like harvest moon and i actually bought this game not for the game but because i like popola Royce. and to be honest i haven't really seen much of the anime i watched it when i was a kid a bit but I always adored the characters. I mean, look how cute they are. And uh, I was choosing between 
getting this or hunting for the PSP version, I think. Not PSP version, but the PSP game. And I ultimately decided to get the 3DS uh, game. Up next, I have Bravely Default. Uh, I'm not sure if it's on the PAL version, but in some cases, I think this is called Bravely Default Flying Fairy. And this is so that's this is how the PAL, PAL cover would actually look like. Uh, so this is one of the uh, few uh, 3DS games I actually uh, came to to finish, and I really like this game. It really um, it, it's really a homage to like old school RPGs, and like there's a, the the brave or default system where you basically brave is like you try to power up um, in exchange to losing some turns or like you default or which is basically to go on defense or something and then you gain an extra turn turn um yeah a really good game but a funny story with this is that like i played this game back when it released and then i finished it I, I came close to finishing it and then put it away for like three to five years I think probably three years is more realistic before I actually finished the finish the game because I completed pretty much I maxed up maxed out all the jobs um, and then I lost interest and then uh, after several years I came back to it and decided to finish it uh, really interesting um, story I mean it starts off pretty simple but I think it gets dark at some point and then um, yeah uh, really good game I really suggest you come and uh, play it so up next I have here The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D uh, and to be honest I haven't really played much of these. I got this game obviously because I have a hard enough time and I wanted to complete the, the Legend of Zelda uh, games that I, I have already considered to be good on the Nintendo 3DS. So obviously I consider this to be a good game. I just haven't had the time to actually get on and uh, play with it. Up next, I have Shinobi. So, I'm a fan of the Mega Drive version. And when this was first announced, I remember I was so excited for it. And I do think it's a good game. Uh, people probably have mixed feelings about it. But if I remember correctly, this suffers a bit from a bit of frame rate issues. But I think it has some 3D effect. I, I, I believe it supports 3D effects. So I think that it's a pretty challenging game, but uh, in a good way. So lastly, for the ones that I have the boxes for at least, I have uh, Code of Princess. And this game has been released on several platforms now, including the Switch and on Steam. It's probably not the best way to play this game anymore. But this version came with the CD and art book. And I really like the soundtrack of the game. I didn't really play this game from start to finish. But I went, there's a lot of characters that you can play in the game. And I bought, uh, when I bought this back when I was in Asia, I actually. Uh, I bought this one second hand so the game came along with some save file with all the characters in it so I just you know uh, I just pretty much played uh, with the save file that was already in the game so maybe that took some fun, fun out of the game but I basically just wanted to do some combos mostly using Solange because she uses a sword and was the easiest for me to, to work with also obviously something that you play for the story 
I also wanted to go over some of the loose games that I have on the 3DS. Uh, reason being, I haven't really found the box for them that's like for a reasonable price. So uh, some of the games I have that are loose right now is an extra copy of uh, Shinobi. Uh, Super Mario 3D Land which I have on the PAL version complete in box Super Street Fighter 4 3D Edition Project Pro Zone 2 I would really appreciate if you guys could point me out to where I can get the, the box for this I think they cost unreasonably high uh, up there on eBay Ridge Racer 3D, Pilot Wings Resort, Green Lantern, Rise of the Man Hunters, which I can probably just get the PAL version complete in box and not bother getting it uh, for the North American version. Dead or Alive 3D, or Dead or Alive Dimensions, Marvel Super Heroes, Universe in Peril. And uh, well, I wanted to show you guys how the game part look like. And then we have uh, Nintendo uh, plus cats. And let's see what else. Oh yeah, the Luigi's Mansion and game cartridge. I think I found it. So if you guys would guess uh, where it was actually. It's in one of my rare, rarest pile games uh, ever. So it was actually in this one. So there's where Luigi's Mansion is. This is probably in one of the other um, game cases. And I'm gonna put this back where it should be. So Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. There you go. And I actually don't have the, the first game for this, so maybe I'll get it at some point if the prices uh, stay uh, reasonable. But uh, for the meantime, I'll be content with this one, which I actually think is a better game anyway. And so that was it for my Nintendo 3DS North American collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if there's some games that you saw here that, uh, that you like, please let me know down in the comments. And if there's some games you think I should have in my collection, uh, please let me know as well. And maybe I will actually try to uh, hunt for that one. Uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. See you guys next time.